Hello everyone. So today let me talk about uh, this uh, Wikipedia page and more than this this Wikipedia page Wikipedia page I want to talk about this uh, this particular blog post uh, on uh, a site called emacs.cafe. Now this particular page getting things done this Wikipedia page is basically a system that was uh, developed by this guy called uh, David Allen. I don't really know this guy. I don't really know about the book as well, but I have uh, heard and I have uh, read things related to getting things done. Now, this is of course uh, an area of my interest. I also believe in uh, getting things done and I guess that is how I work. I try to work and of course I'm not really perfect and there are a lot of areas in my life where i need to improve but i think uh, over the over the last few years or in fact I, I should say in the last 10 years i have developed my own system especially in the last 10 years i have developed my own system of using uh, uh, org mode uh, for uh, doing a lot of things and of course i'm using org mode here because uh, this particular system it has nothing to do with i guess based on my understanding i i guess this particular system is uh, tool agnostic I, b- I believe because it is more about how you it's more about a suggested approach of doing things now talking about of t- talking about org mode i have i have been talking about org mode emacs um, and i have shared many things that i do to solve my own problems the way i use org mode to help me with my workflow but uh, i of course want you to also read this particular page because uh, I have also f- captured few things from this blog post and implemented those things in my own workflow. So b- basically, if you go back to the Wikipedia page, I mean, if you have time, if you want, you can probably read the book. I don't really think I have time to read the book, especially with my schedule. But uh, if you want to read this particular blog post, you will also get some ideas because we all have different lives. We all have different ways of working. We all have... Uh, different things to worry about in our lives so we cannot really expect one system to work for everyone it's more about uh, you can probably pick few things from others and try to learn from each other try to also see how you can customize it the way you want to for your own personal uh, workflow now on this particular on this particular uh, blog post you will basically learn about uh, one approach that is in line i believe with uh, the getting things done uh, approach the system so if you look at this diagram but what this author has done here this author has uh, described this really 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 well and uh, you can also hopefully re- relate to it if you're trying to learn or use or adopt org mode uh, maybe you're new to it i mean i know i, I can I, I can understand it can be overwhelming but uh, if you have any questions about how you should organize files, you can definitely take a look at it. Now, the way this uh, works is that you will have one. Uh, so what the, what this blog post is talking about that you will have one file called inbox.org. That is where you will collect everything. Let us say right now you're working and you have uh, something that you just remember remembered or maybe you have to remind yourself. So just open the capture you know, using or camp or capture, you can actually quickly in- insert something, and that will go to this inbox. And you can invoke this command from anywhere. And by the way, I have talked about this by the way in many of my videos. So this is what I do. I also use it. Then this yo- this author is also using one more file called GTD, where uh, this your this user is uh, keeping all the active projects. So this is what I do. I also have uh, a file, a similar file, where I keep all of my active projects Uh, and then uh, there is a file called someday.org which I don't really use basically this particular file is for all the inactive tasks that may or may not happen in feature similarly something called as tickler so tickler is basically a place where you will keep track of all the items that you need to be reminded of maybe you have to pay bills or you have to do something every year so all of these one, two, three, four files. I use inbox.org. I use something called as, you know, not GTD. The name is different, but I have basically one file.org for my 
active projects. For someday.org, I don't really have this particular file, but I do have Tickler. Basically, you know, the file where I keep track of things that I need to do on a regular basis, like especially important items like paying bills and if I have to renew something, insurance, for example. And uh, apart from everything else, apart from these main org files that are, of course, part of the agenda, I actually have in my agenda the entire folder. I think I did talk about it. I don't, I don't, I don't really remember, but uh, uh, I have covered this that in my because I do a lot of things using org mode, like I create, I have started creating my client proposals. I have started creating, uh, uh, I'm also exploring if I can also create invoices. And I try to use uh, Emacs for doing a lot of things, like like publishing a blog post. So I actually have uh, multiple directories that are part of my org agenda. And uh, recursively, if there is a new org file in those directories, they're also part of my agenda. I know it may sound uh, a bit uh, too much but my main org agenda files are usually you know few not more than you know four or five and uh, apart from all this um, i think uh, if you read this blog post you will probably get an idea on uh, how to for example how to set up the capture templates because because when you want to capture the templates or basically when you want to capture something that you just remembered you can actually invoke a command control c control c and it will actually ask you to select a template that you can select maybe small t or capital t and based on the template that you select this will go the entry that you will make will go to the right file and i also use by the way journal yes i do journal like not really every day but whenever i feel like i also have like one more journal.org so but mainly uh, if i talk about my core org files they are uh, normally three or four that i actively use and uh, do like a do 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 take a look at this blog po blog post and uh, try to understand uh, how this will work. For example, uh, refiling is something that I do. Also, let us say if I have some items in my inbox. Now, from inbox, you want to move it to your main file, right? Your main org file. Of course, you can do it manually, but of course, that is not the point. We want to be efficient in life, so you can actually refile. There is a way to do it using Control C, Control W, Control W. But when you do refiling, you can also uh ensure that uh, you are including those files and you're also uh, making sure that you mention the level so basically when you do refiling you can ensure that those uh, uh, refile targets are also specified here in your emacs.init file and uh, yeah r rest of the things are quite straightforward i don't really as i mentioned i don't really follow each and everything as per the blog post but uh, when i read this blog post i think few years back i did implement few things um, especially the capturing of the especially the inbox.org and how to refile the target that is i believe a wonderful idea and the whole idea here is that so I, I think so the way i work is if i can do something in two minutes let us say i'm i'm working like i'm in the flow and i know that i have to do something that will probably take me two minutes maybe i just need to pay my bill quickly or i just remembered something if I know that I can do it in two minutes, I just do it straight away. That is it. But if I know that it will probably take me more than two minutes, I delay it because I don't really want to break my flow because spending five minutes or even 10 minutes or half an hour, I think it's probably too much. You will probably be out of your flow and uh, you will not be efficient. And that is not how I work. So apart from everything that needs two minutes of my time, I plan them and I use inbox.org for doing that. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I will share the link in the in the post in the video and I hope you learned something new today and you also enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.